How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to change your transmit scale. This is a very big topic as not a lot of people have actually known how to do it. And especially if you are new to the helium realm, this is some interesting information that I actually just found out the other day and I've had a helium miner for a month now. Uh, I actually stumbled upon this information accidentally when someone was talking about it in the helium discord. And I asked them a question and they're like, oh yeah, you could do that. So I'm going to teach you guys how this actually works. But before we get started, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications to be notified when I upload new videos. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so as you can see, this is just a simple Google search. This is just to show you guys. Um, it, it varies on person to person what their actual opinion is. And it turns out this is an unwritten rule with helium. I found out about this rule because they were talking about enterprising and people that actually enterprise the helium miners and then make a business out of them and then deploy them. Like you might see a Facebook ad where you get like 20% of the earnings and all they do is put it at your house. So stuff like that is how I figured out what this actually is. Basically, they are reasserting or they are asserting the initial location somewhere else from where the actual miner is located. And this is a security reason, but this can also increase your earnings. So for instance, if you are in a hotspot a hexagon with two hotspots and then it's a 0.5 scale, you could actually reassert your location right outside. So that way you get the 1.0 scale. So I'm going to show you guys basically what's going on here. This is a great website, hotspotty.net. You're going to be able to see all of the information that I'm going to be talking about. You can make an account and you can look for it for yourself for your individual hotspot. But let's say this is my hotspot. If I go off of transmit scales and you can see how Philadelphia is all underneath 1.0 scale. But you can see like, well, why is this guy? He's right next to this guy. Why does he have a 1.0? Because there was actually a massive hexagon and it is hex. If I go to uh, reward scaling, it's loading. It's actually resolution four. There's 360 too many hotspots in this area. So because there's that many, you're going to see a lower reduction in your earnings. Now, every day, every time someone adds a new hotspot, your earnings are going to go down because it's going to decrease the hot, um, I just, uh, transmit scale, sorry. <laughs> so you can see this is for Philly. If I were to go to New York, it's a very similar scale. You can see, look at that. It's all red on the inside. If I were to go up to New York and keep in mind, this website is new. There are a lot of bugs that they're trying to work out. It's a great company though. I actually had the opportunity to talk to one of the co-owners or co-founders. Um, so here we go. So you can see this is New York and this is just crazy. The amount of red hotspots. Now these red ones are making like 0.9 on a witness scale. Once it loads, I'll show you guys, but basically, uh, Similar to LMR 400, people are saying that you can only have 50 to 80 meters difference from your actual location. And to that, I say it varies on where you live. 100%, I think 50 to 80 meters is decent, but I'm almost at 800 meters. And basically, in my opinion, all I think that matters is the witnesses. And if you're starting to get invalid witnesses, then you know you have moved it too far. It will cost approximately 10 helium or not 10 helium, $10 to reassert your location. But if it increases your earnings, then it is something that is well worth it. So this loaded, now I can click on this guy and you can see he's made 0 0.05 helium in the past 25, uh, 24 hours. Let's go to reward scaling and see what his actual reward scale. It's 0 0.09. So you can see there's 417 too many, 159 too many. There's, there's a lot of too many going on. Um, you can scroll out and you can see exactly where it ends. And coincidentally, that's where all the 1.0 scales are. So if I was someone right here, which honestly, that's very, that's very unfortunate. I would just reassert my location across the street and I would have going from a one. Let's we can actually see how many earnings this person gets. Point two, uh, point six eight in the past 24 hours. So they're still not doing bad for themselves, but if they were to move it outside, they have a 0.66, they would get a 1.0 scale. So it's very simple to do. Please note, if you do relocate, reassert your location, don't put it on a spot where it would actually be another person's home. 
because that could uh, make people, you know, in the future for security reasons, who knows what people are willing to do to actually get these hotspot miners. I haven't heard of any stories of people stealing them yet, but it honestly is only a matter of time if people don't take security measures promptly. So you can pretty much do this for any city. If you have a low transmit scale, obviously if you are in like in Queens right now for New York, you're not going to be able to reassert your location all the way out here. That's unrealistic. You're going to have a ridiculous amount of invalid witnesses. It's actually going to affect your earnings negatively very bad. But if I was like right here, you can see now you can see these are red as well. That's because this is a new hex. So if I go over here, you can see there is a smaller hex and there's actually a bigger one. So um, let's scroll down here. 0 0.07 reward scale. That, uh, there's 366 too many people. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I believe this is all like subtracted somehow. There's some equation where this all equates to the 0 0.07, but uh, that's that sucks. So if you're anywhere in this area, you are going to have a poor reward scale. Even if I go over here, even though they're not directly near New York, they're still in that area where they're going to be getting probably, I'm going to guess 0 0.6, yeah, 0 0.69 reward scale. So all they have to do for someone like this, they might actually be too far, but I don't think they would be. They would have to research the location right here and their problems would be solved. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. If I'm saying anything wrong, which I don't think I am, uh, someone well-educated in the healing community, please let me know. But I do believe this is 100% accurate and you 100% can do this. It is an unwritten rule within the healing community for security measures. And I highly suggest, even if you guys are not uh, moving it to get a better reward scale, you might want to move it just to protect your security. Because if I go onto here and I go anywhere here, obviously on the helium explorer it's going to show in a hex but if i go on this website it's showing the exact location of where these hotspots are located and that could be a problem in the future so i think that's all i got for you guys if you do have any questions any comments any concerns please feel free to comment down below also make sure that you like subscribe and turn on your post notifications to be notified when i upload new videos i have a lot of content coming your way guys and i don't plan on stopping anytime soon so you guys have any suggestions i've already gotten a couple suggestions for making a video on my own portfolio what i actually am invested in and also uh, showing some gpu mining and talking about some other helium stuff and i have to make the monthly helium report so that is all i got for you guys i'll see you all in the next video peace out